diaphragm replacement on an Udor Kappa 55 diaphragm pump. You will need the following parts and tools. Ratchet, 3 quarter inch socket, 11 16th inch socket, flathead screwdriver, small screwdriver, hammer, air chuck, power drill, air gauge, brake cleaner, Udor 40 weight non-detergent oil, Udor 8700.26 diaphragm repair kit. To begin, start on the top and remove the head bolts using the 11 16th inch socket. Make sure not to drop any bolts or lose the check valves. Remove the bolt and washer holding the diaphragm onto the piston using the 3 quarter inch socket. Use the small screwdriver to remove the diaphragm and the piston sleeve. Sometimes you will need to use the screwdriver to move the piston to get the sleeve out. Drain the pump through the open head into a pan. Spray brake cleaner to remove any leftover chemical residue. Repeat the head and diaphragm removal process on the remaining two heads. If you have any issue removing the sleeve on the third head, you can put the large screwdriver through the other end to poke it out. Use the hammer to lightly remove it from the piston. This is a brand new pump. Some of the pumps from Italy have hard water residue and you will want to clean it out before putting it back together. The first three heads are the actual pump heads, housing the check valves and covering the piston diaphragms. The fourth head is the accumulator and houses the accumulator diaphragm. Remove the bolts using the 11 16th inch socket. Remove the accumulator diaphragm. Start reassembling the pump. Install the piston sleeve back onto the piston. Use a hammer to lightly tap it into place. Take the piston diaphragm and place it back onto the piston. There is writing stamped on the diaphragm including oil on one side and water on the other. Make sure the side with more wiring and water is facing out towards you when you install the diaphragm. Place the washer on with the sharp side facing out to prevent it from digging into the diaphragm and tearing it prematurely. Hand tighten and then use the ratchet and 3 quarter inch socket to tighten the bolt onto the piston. Ensure the diaphragm is sealed all the way around 
and reinstall the head onto the pump body. Poke the check valve to make sure the spring is still opening and closing. The valves will go in one way and the blocker on the pump body will prevent you from doing it incorrectly. Start with the pump head with the brackets attached to it. The top two bolts closest to the oil sight glass are the shorter bolts. The two bolts to hold the bracket on and the fifth bolt near the check valves are the longer bolts. Use the power drill with 11 16 inch socket, verify, to tighten the bolts onto the pump body. Repeat the steps with the next head. You will see two holes on the piston sleeve. You want them perpendicular with the shaft at 12 and 6 o'clock. Lightly hammer the sleeve in and reinstall the diaphragm, bolt, washer, and head. Ideally, you want to use the long screwdriver to rotate the crankshaft so the piston is on the inward stroke to help seat the diaphragm before you put the head back on. Place head back onto the pump body. Check springs in valves. Please note there are washers on the top shorter bolts and no washers on the bolts holding the bracket on. We saved the top head for last so we can fill it with oil. It fills a lot quicker than filling through the reservoir. It also takes longer to purge the air out if you fill through the reservoir. Fill the case up to the piston and put the sleeve back in. Tap with the hammer and install the diaphragm with the writing facing out. Hand tighten the bolt and washer using the ratchet. Rotate the crankshaft to seat diaphragm and put head back on. For the top head, they are all the same length and have a washer. The pump tag and decal will act as a washer for that bolt. Use the power drill and the 11 16 inch socket. Remove the sight glass lid and top it off with oil. Fill it to halfway up the glass so you can see the consistency. There will be air bubbles and the level will slowly go down. While waiting for that to settle, you will replace the air accumulator diaphragm. Place it in a bowl, inward to pump body. Put the head on with the air valve accessible, normally facing up or down, depending on how you want it. Use the power drill and the 11 16 inch socket to secure head. Add some air to the valve. The rule of thumb is 20 PSI minimum or 20% of normal operating pressure. Use the air gauge to check the pressure once filling. If you have too much or too little PSI in the dome, your discharge lines will pulsate and jump around. Check the oil sight glass. You will see it bubble down some and add more oil if needed. That's all folks. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe to the Sprayer Depot YouTube channel for more spray equipment repair videos.